Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you something that uh, some of you out there might not be aware of, but that might be a, a solution to a problem that some of you might have sometimes when rendering, especially for print and so on. I have a scene here that I made a while ago. Uh, I can show you the render here. This is how the final scene looks. Um, in here I have some depth of field, but this can also be a problem when not using depth of field, and I will show you an example here. I have made a select region here, and I will try to render this. And uh, let's see what we get. And we have a nice little image here, and uh, so far it looks fine, but if I zoom in, and I go to the top here then you can see especially here in the dark areas that we have some grains and uh, this also would be a big problem when uh, rendering with depth of field uh, which c might be rather annoying. I know we zoomed in 400% here but still grains like this is not always what we want but I'll try think and say, well, it might be pretty low in anti-aliasing, so let's just step up the threshold here on this adaptive sampling, say 0.1, and do a re-render here, and we'll render again. And as you see here, it's not like the adaptive sampling is getting into the dark areas, and that's the way the, the anti-aliasing works in Lightwave. So you see here, new render, old render, you see we still have the grains in the black areas. So we might say, let's go insane on this. Let's say 001 here, so we know this will anti-alize definitely in the black areas, or most of it as you see. But this is going to take some time, so I'll just pause the video and be back when it's done, so we don't need to sit here and look at the render. And we're done rendering. Now you see this took almost 4 minutes now, and uh, the image before took uh, 9.8 seconds to render, versus almost 4 minutes. So we now definitely had a lot of anti-aliasing on, and a lot of adaptive sampling. So Let's take a look at the image, and what do we see? Back and forth, back and forth. You see we got a few edges up here and down here, that's a little bit smoother, but we still got a hell lot of grain here. And uh, that's kind of a problem. We can add and we can add and we get humongous render times, and still we got grains, which is not what we need. So why is this happening, and especially in the dark areas? Well, it's a little tricky here. Uh, the way uh, Lightwave works with the anti-aliasing is it looks at the contrasts, and that's where it will uh, punch the most anti-aliasing and adaptive sampling on. So, uh, the dark areas is a little left over unless you pump really high adaptive sampling. I could uh, choose to go here and set anti-aliasing to 10 or to 16 and get an even longer render, but it wouldn't help me, because this is not the problem. So, what is the problem then? Well, it's a little bit of a thing in Lightwave that is default on. If we go here to image processing and we check here, we have default dither intensity. Well, dithering is something that is default on in Lightwave to help smooth out if you have a very very clean gradient surfaces on something that you render that might cause banding when rendering. Uh, the dithering is used, uh, made to help out here to to smooth out that the banding effect so you get a smoother gradient. But in a lot of images this is not really needed. Um, if you use texture maps and so on it's not really but it still, still it, it generates some kind of like, if you have set a, a, a high ISO on your camera and you take a, 
uh, a picture or with your mobile phone and you see these grains in the image which you really don't want. So what I can do here actually is take uh, these two here and put them to off and I can then go back to my anti-lighting here and say let's set this to point 0.1 again or say point 0.3 perhaps and we can do re-render and it will of course render a lot faster but what you see now 5.8 seconds and we have grain gone you see back forth back and forth of course it can uh, be used uh, to add some realism to uh, if you try to make photoreal images that there is some some grains in the image um, so it can have can have a positive uh, turn on a bill on a picture, but in some cases you need very very clean colors and very very clean uh, images. Then you might want to think about turning off the dithering in Lightwave. I hope you can see here the big difference. These keys here also look a bit cleaner. Um, of course, this is not as smooth because we are a lot lower in the anti-aliasing than before, but still if we go to 100% here we have a little bit of etching, but we can fix that just by rising this just a tad and not get 3 minutes of rendering, but perhaps not 9 seconds, but perhaps 20 seconds. Let's put this to 0.1 instead. Try render and we'll see where this takes us and we are at 9.6 seconds and the line here looks a lot smoother than before back and forth and if we zoom in here we can see no grains at all in the back ar areas like we had up here so I hope you can use this for something I know I can um, so uh, take a look around on my tutorials or visit my web site and uh, see you around.